Greetings, my excellent friend. John here, guys, and today we're talking about the gnarly FPV Primo. This thing is excellent. Excellent. And let me take you on an amazing, excellent adventure with this thing. Uh, the styling of this is just more than we're used to for this class of quad. Now I have on the bottom um, strapped to the TPU battery holder or screwed in rather the uh, 300 or 450 milliamp 2S pack holder. This thing is outstanding. You can see on its own, it sits flat, but with a battery on there, you're able to launch this easily from anywhere. Now on some of these small frames, um, sometimes it's difficult to have it not do something like this. So that when you arm, you're gonna like just grind your props into the into the ground. So I really appreciate that. The canopy works wonders. And before I go into too many of the other details, let's talk about the build itself. This is essentially a trash can um, conversion. So it has the Crazy B Pro um, ESC and flight controller combo. It's using the 200 milliwatt um, video transmitter. It is using the trash can rattly motors. <laughs> And it is using the Cadex EOS 2, but I have the good version, the 4x3, not the 16x9 that comes on the trash can. And of course, an XT30, because you want to be able to take a massive, a maximum amount of advantage of the speed that goes into this thing. So, how does it fly? Well, for your conversion kit for a trash can or other of these 08, um, 02, 03 motors with the three hole, anything with a three hole, happy model type mounting i'm gonna go ahead and just say it flies better than the toothpick it flies better than the toothpick if i you know if you're gonna be doing the 1103 four hole you gotta go with the toothpick guys you got to um but the the thing with the toothpick is that the three hole tries to do too many things and i have one um sitting right here The three hole toothpick tries to do too many things. Look at the motor holes. They're a weird shape. Why is that? Well, it's to accommodate a range of different mounting solutions. Um, so I think Kebab kind of realized this and that's why he's abandoning the three hole version. He's gonna only start doing the four hole version. So if you want a conversion, this thing has recessed mounting, uh, hole mounting. So it's exactly the right size. Uh, when I crashed my toothpick, I often would have the motor screws just completely dislodge. Um, because they just weren't the exact right size. They were kind of just sitting in there and I got a lot of extra vibration from that. Also, the flight controller sits on a bed of nice cushiony TPU uh, when mounted in this thing. So the holes being perfectly sized for the motors, um, the recessed holes really eliminating all of the wiggle and vibration and then the soft mounting for the flight controller means that even with these rattly trash can motors, um, it flies quite smooth. With better motors, it would fly even better. So, I gotta tell you guys, if you're gonna do a conversion from the Mobula or the trash can, you want something that's a simple swap, um, I'm actually gonna get a set of uh, the Mobula HD 1102 motors, which I believe are the same mounting, and I have to decide which thing am I gonna put it on. I'm thinking I'm gonna probably put it on this. Um, the motor protection is quite good. I've crashed this thing, crashed this thing a few times. Um, I foolishly at one point um, started getting into the flow, and I tried to turn my <laughs> I tried to turn my DVR for my Fat Sharks on in the middle of a flight, and I accidentally held the record button for too long, and it brought up the OSD menu instead <laughs> of turning the DVR on. So I totally just blinded myself which was heinous and uh i just totally crashed into the ground and i expected some kind of breakage nothing i've taken some little spills tumbles on concrete i have not had any motors come loose which was kind of a constant problem this holds all the stuff in place i love that there's a spot for your antenna so there's no chance of losing it like i did on one of those other builds um so i love that this new popularity that has um been brought forth by the introduction of the toothpick is really breathing new life into this class um, and there's some controversy surrounding that guys but 
here's the thing. Kebab was making 65 millimeter brushed videos like a year or more ago. Now, yes, other people have been flying those for far longer. Gnarly FPV has been in this space for a while that I've been seeing them post builds on RC groups um, from time to time. And I've long been wanting to build a similar build, but it was just really hard to figure out a good components list. Eh. And I almost bought one of their bind and flies, but I was like, you know, is it worth reviewing? But when they came out with this and it was a direct implant, um, the engineering for this size is just off the charts. They've thought of everything. It makes the build go together so easily and it actually flies well and retains everything. See how chipped up these props are? Um, they're just all banged up, but it still flies amazing. And this is pretty much just a trash can pit dump, you know? Um, so go out and get one of these things. The toothpicks are out of stock. Uh, my recommendation is if you want the four hole 1103, go with the toothpick build. That's what I'm gonna be doing. But if you want to transplant with a three hole, go with the gnarly man. It's totally gnarly, <laughs> the Primo. <sighs> I've just had such a great time flying this. It's everything that the three hole toothpick was, but just refined a little bit better. And for those that are hating on Gnarly, they were kind of here first. And for those that are hating on Kebab, don't. Because I told him in a post the other day, you know, he's like Apple. You know, Apple never creates a class. They come into an existing class and just redefine it, make it better. So the iPad, the iPhone, the iPod, they didn't create any of those classes. They took what was a small thing or a medium-sized thing or maybe even a large thing made a number of improvements in being able to purchase it easily being able to um, access it more easily being able to make some refinements and of course exploding the popularity of it so that the pricing and acquisition of all these things become easier um, i think it's unfortunate that Happy Model and some of the other shady companies out there are capitalizing on his work. Um, he unfortunately shared some information with them um, under the promise from them that they would not enter into that class immediately. And it seems like they're planning to do just that. So unfortunately, he did release his designs a little bit too early and it allowed people enough time to come up with their own versions and release them in the meantime. Um, so uh, he'll probably learn from that, but the Primo is the first one that I've seen who had really been doing their own developments, um, you know, in tandem to this, and they're just ready to release this at just the right time in the explosion of popularity. So enough yammering on, let's get on to how it flies. It flies, it's all of the fun of the toothpick. It has a little bit more weight, I will tell you that. Um, my preferred battery for this is 300 milliamp 2s now i can barely get like a minute or a minute and a half if i'm really pushing it um, a 450 milliamp will last me closer to two minutes but i can't decide if i like that extra weight or not it's not as tossable around but it is still fun the 450 makes it easier to go through um, small little tight gaps with a little more predictability but for doing just totally amazing freestyle acro moves you know, this thing still has more power to weight than all of my five inch, than the Marmot, than the Smooth Operator, than the Raging Droner. It doesn't matter. The power to weight that this thing has, you push the throttle, it just flies up. So um, on all these videos, I've started adding the throttle percentage on the screen so you can see just how little or how much throttle is being applied at any given second. So here we go to the footage, guys.